Greetings Java viewers, it's Tom here and I'm giving you the first episode of Minecraft Modding for Advanced Modders. Now, in this first uh, tutorial we're going to be looking at block customizations and I'm going to do a bunch of these tutorials but uh, I mean uh, a batch of these tutorials about uh, block customization. I'm also going to do some about items customization and all that shit. So um, what we're going to start off first is as you can see I made this uh, block called MG which is the modium glass and uh, what I want this to be is like a transparent block. So you can't just make the texture transparent, you have to do something in the code but you also have to have a texture that's transparent. So what I want to do now is actually just go in here uh, delete this white block because it's I don't know why it's in there but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make a new uh, block so 16 by 16 because it's a block or same for an item but I've got to fill it all out so basically what I want to do is make something like a glass it's green so I want to erase all this add some sort of greenness to this with this transparent texture okay so got this actually we can just as you can see I'm choosing some sort of transparent looking now what I want to do is I'm just going to put this all over around just like so and then what you have to do uh, in the code is I actually have to get a couple of lines of code from the block glass and put it in your own custom block file and um, you'll be good so we're gonna do that in a sec um, I don't wanna do like too much shit now but Let's just see. Okay, if I do this like all the time, I'll just get like. So I have to do that. that. I have to press every time. It sucks. Like so. Mm, and like. Oh. Like so. And like so. So this is our texture. Just like this to make it really cool. There we go. This is my texture. You just want to save it. Make sure everything is like kind of transparent. It doesn't all all have to be, but I'm just gonna do that. Make sure some of it is transparent, because else it's not a transparent block. So modium glass. PNG file, save it, drag it in there, copy this folder, eclipse client bin in there, go on to the code. So as you can see I already made the block, public static file block mg new block modium glass, made a new ID, override it, here I have to change this because I made a white block before but it kind of failed. So kind of failed. I already made this video so now I know what to do. I made the hardness very low because it's glass. Made the resistance at zero because it will explode like very easily if there's TNT. Um, and I actually want to put this to three, five. And set block name. Next you have to register the block because it's block have to add the name and I'm not going to do any uh, recipe so let's go on to the block modium glass so as you can see this is just a normal block package in minecraft.soc you have the imported java the, the random one we have the quantity drop with the id drop then I've added it to the creative menu and the materials ground because I'm actually just going to change this to glass okay so what you want to add is if you go in the block glass you will see there is this method called public in skit render block pass and this is return zero. What you want to do is you want to copy this. You want to go in here and you want to paste it in here. But you want to edit this zero and put one instead. 
so that the render type is 1. Go back, copy this called public boolean is opaque cube. Put this in turn false, so I'm going to put this in like so, and you're done. This is all you have to do. You have to add public boolean is opaque cube and public int get render block pass. Remember to put this as one, it's very important, else it will not look the way it should. So now you can go ahead and go into your Minecraft and look at your awesome block. Amazing, huh? This is our transparent block that we can actually look through. So I'm just gonna go in here. Oh, there's some of our biome here. That's nice. As you can see, I can see the clay there. I can go over here. I can see the ore through like that. And it's transparent. It's awesome. Now, that's how you make transparent blocks. The next time, we're going to be looking at gravitational blocks like sand, and gravel, and what's this item called? It's called modding. Okay. And then there's a tiger. Okay. So that's cool. So yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.